to North Carolina. And for High Point, Zach Overend getting his ninth start of the season. He's got 88 goals against, 88 saves for a five and four record on the season. So here we go to the face off X. Brady Wambach right there for North Carolina going up against Colin Hoban, 53 in black, and a violation of Stark gives it to the Tar Heels, get it over to Petromala and back through McGovern at X to start things, as well as Lance Tillman, a guy who's played a lot of attack as well, but playing out of the midfield here today as well. A push, Wambach keeps with it, gets it over to the side, Andrew Tyre, who is the other Fogo for North Carolina, but he also plays on the wing for all faceoffs, so more of just a faceoff specialist in general than just a Fogo. Here's Duffy Petromala on the season. James Madden had his 10th with that first goal of the game as a different look at the faceoff X for high point, bringing in Luca Accardo, the sophomore from Susset, New York. And for the Tar Heels, as they are off to a very good start. One they'll wanna keep going with, keep the gas, or keep their foot on for the Tar Heels. Matt Reedy getting that last goal, six of the season in just as many games for him. And back to the faceoff dot with Wambach, the freshman who's been fantastic for North Carolina this year, 64% at the dot. He was the number one faceoff recruit in the country coming in. We got a fight here and picking up the win is Luca Accardo, the sophomore. Just silencing high point here early. Andrew Tyre going against Accardo who wins it to himself, but the relentless effort and there's a flag. Thought it was just a trail check to the stick from Tyre. Nine points, he's played in every game High Point's had this year, making one start as face-off won by Accardo. He gets brought down, but Maia comes to help out and possibly two straight here if High Point the second game here at Dorrance Field. It's dogs at Dorrance Day too, so Lots of puppies running around as well, which is always a fun thing to see. And not the only reason today special, it's also Shoes for Hope Day here at both games as North Carolina gets the win. Both threes, a great feed there from Owen Duffy who gets the assist. And tucking it low, Duffy now with two assists, not scored yet, but good spread out offense. For North Carolina, Levy with the goal, Reedy with two, Matten with one, McGovern with one, Petromala with one, and DeMarco also with one. The one goal scored for high point, Isaiah low. Identical finishes was just on top of the crease, a great, his seventh of the year. As the fifth most goals on this high point team as Wambach back in the circle against Accardo. Tire gets it for a moment, taken away. Coming down with speed. Posen gets it back, fires high. Just outside of the cage as he's rocked. And he goes down. Official calls his own time once again. The pass over for the 27th assist of the season as Van Overbeck, that quarterback, finding everyone is down the gut. Accardo with the shot, Krieg gets the save. It's a free ball, Krieg picks up the ground ball. And they're saying it was. off going early is High point, if you get three violations on the... Face off one by Tyre, trying to kill the minute penalty. 
into the third quarter. Leading score for this Tar Heel team. He has gone off to a great pace with his 23rd goal of the season. Now 41 points through nine games and nine games in goals with Michigan's Justin Tiernan. Behind him is Dyson Williams with 31, who he was tied with, Brennan O'Neill with 30, and obviously with Duke playing tomorrow against Denver, that gets very spread out here for the Tar Heels. 11 goals, eight different goal scorers here for North Carolina. They had their first six goals, and it was six different goal scorers at that time. Now starting to double up. Great ride from North Carolina. Petromala gets a stick on it, picks it up. UNC taking it right back. Petromala to the cage, diving, gets stopped. Thurs and keeping them still in striking distance. If they're down by five going into the fourth, they definitely have every opportunity to win this game. Now a minute 10 left in the third quarter. They win the face off and it's a big one for High Point. Van Overbeck taking some to the team in the country, taking on the High Point Panthers for the eighth time in program history. 7-0 all time as Accord gets the face off win for the Panthers. Trying to pick up what they left off as a shot from the pole. Corey O'Connor gets trip dive. And with the way the Tar Heels, excuse me, with the way the Panthers have been at the face-off X, this could be a make-it-take-it situation. Winning it back, Ocardo. They're saying it's a violation against North Carolina. So high point with the ball. Like I was saying, you look at the those stats, shots are being led by North Carolina faceoffs have been huge. What a hit from English. Puts down a cord. No flag goes. High point. Their bench is begging for it. A cut. Faceoff dot. 14 faceoffs won by high point today. It could be the difference. Cardo loses it. Tire gets it back. People were calling for a hold, but no call there. Andrew Tyre with it. That's well for Michigan. As pop down, Ocardo gets the win. Tyre trying to get over top to dislodge it, but High Point with a huge win down by one. The net, it finds the back of the cage. We got an 11-11 game here in Chapel Hill. A chance at the upset, a violation against Andrew Tyre and the Tar Heels. High point with six straight goals to tie it up, have rallied every time it was about a six goal lead or a five goal lead the whole entire game. And then once the fourth quarter came, that's when the Panthers turned it on. Ricardo wins it, sticks on the ground, it's covered up. 17 seconds, time stop. North Carolina picks up the ball. Andrew Tyre with it. Antonio DeMarco, Cooper Frankenheimer getting it before the Omids get.